don't. Using a low quality roller cover will leave fuzz on your walls. Do. Choose a high quality woven roller cover to ensure a high quality finish. When choosing the nap size, make sure to not only consider the product being applied, but also the substrate that is being coated. Opening a new brush and dipping it directly into your paint or stain is not ideal. And that's not the correct way to cut in. Be sure to condition your brush by wetting it with water and spinning it out so that it loads properly and applies smoothly. That's the way to cut in. Do not dip your paintbrush in too far to a can of paint. This will result in overloading and application that will drip or run. Nope, wrong again. Not getting enough paint on your brush will also lead to poor release and frequent trips back to the can. For a more even application that's easy to manage, dip in the brush bristles one-third to one-half for proper loading and easier application. Avoid painting with the open end of the frame leading your application direction. By painting with the closed frame in the direction you're rolling it allows for fewer roller marks and a level pressure across the frame. This will lead to a more uniform finish. Have you decided just to roll it all? That's not ideal. For a more professional finish with clean lines, always start by cutting in edges, such as corners, doors, and window frames with a brush, then roll into the area while still wet. Choosing too thick of a roller cover will leave an undesirable texture on your walls and can make the paint sag and drip. Too thin of a roller cover can lead to incomplete hide and frequent trips back to the tray for more paint. When in doubt, consult the product label or technical data sheet for the proper roller recommendation. It's best to use the right tool for the job to save time and money. This color looks good in my neighbor's home. I think I like it, so I'll order enough for my whole project. Try the online visualizer or tintable paint samples before committing to a color from someone else's home. It's best to see the color on your walls at different times of the day and in different lights. It's been 15 minutes since the paint has been applied and you wonder if it's dry. Do not touch the wall to test whether the paint is dry. Read the back of the product label for dry and reco times. Don't pollute and throw away or pour unused paint down the drain. Follow your local municipal waste disposal guidelines for discarding unused paint.